Hi loves, Jay here with your monthly reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have Aquarius placements anywhere in your chart, you are welcome here. This reading may resonate with you as well. We're going to hop into your spiritual insights, but first I want to say thank you to all of you that are tuning in. Whether you're old or new here, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the community. And we are going to hop right in. Okay, Aquarius, I'm, I'm feeling um, you're trying to be more positive and this is a term for the for the good for you okay because in past readings i feel like you have um you know you've been going through it for sure and i do feel an energy of you being on the up and up now i do feel that some of you are becoming more adventurous so it makes me feel like you're getting back to your old self because i know aquarius to be very adventurous and wants want to try new things and have a good time so i feel like you're getting you know getting back to that energy there are more shifts that will be happening for you, but overall, I feel you being in a better space. It has been a long time coming for some of you, and this makes me feel extremely happy, happy to hear that, um, hear and feel that um, that your uh, that your struggles are, are sort of coming to an end because some of you have been going through it for you know the past past months or one to two years for for some of you as well. Um, Spirit is saying that everyone is letting go of something or someone and you're definitely no exception to this so like i said there are more shifts and transitions that are happening for you and i'm hoping that you've developed the tools that you need to get to the next phase because i do feel that some of you have been doing your conscious work whether you were thrown into it or not right <laughs> you have you have better tools now okay so that's what it feels like you will have better tools to communicate, um, to to overcome whatever may be coming towards you. Okay, so whatever you've just gone through, there has been lessons that have been learned for you to elevate to this next phase and be able to handle any challenges or obstacles that come your way with grace. You're not 100% out of the woods, obviously. None of us are really, but Spirit is saying you still need to rest to replenish your energy, okay? And I know we talked about it in the, in the past that some of you have just been going and going and there's a lot that has been happening to you and you're not resting. But Spirit is saying to remember to rest, okay? Because as you're, you're some of you are still in the healing phase and you still need your recovery time, honestly, okay? So resting is very important. Spirit says um, to not fear the unknown, live your life to the fullest. So if you find yourself worrying, find an outlet to channel and redirect the energy. And you can make a list of things that make you feel happy, whether that's large or small. But create a list of things that you could do daily that won't take up a lot of time, or maybe they do. But things that you like to indulge in that will help you elevate your frequency. So we call these, you know, happy habits. You know, it it could be things like, you know, dancing, taking a nap for an hour, going for a walk, stretching, whatever. Just do it. OK, make your list. I, I do see that um, some of you may be presenting something to someone. I, I, I could hear I could see this vision of you, Aquarius, like you're holding something. It almost looks like a frame or document, something, but you're holding it and I feel what I feel from you. Some of you are happy to present this. And some of you are relieved to present this. So I don't know what this is that you're you're gifting or you're giving papers to somebody. I don't know. And whatever this is, I feel like your energy is either happy or relieved that you actually get to do this. Okay. So I don't know how that's going to show up for you. Okay. But your universal message is convince yourself and not others, which reads the next... Uh, the need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self-serving. What's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need, because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways. Okay, so convince yourself and not others. And this is the first, this is actually the second time, this round of reading, I actually just, I actually pulled this card too. I can't remember what sign I pulled this for, but I've never pulled that card before, okay? So, could have been another air sign as well, but convincing yourself and not others, okay? So, what stories are you telling, okay? What stories are you, are you trying to convince yourself of that, of what, everything's okay, that you're okay, that things don't affect you, like... 
what is the story that you're trying to um, convince yourself of? Okay, so that's something for you to think about. Your angel number, if you're seeing 0606, also another card that I rarely pull. I just pulled this for someone in this round of readings as well. Can't remember which sign, but if you're seeing 606 on the clock, this is about commitment, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. This is about your loyalty, your responsibilities, your truths, love, light, spiritual realm, growth, and solutions. So applying honesty and light daily is a fast track to creating a peaceful and meaningful life. So it's how you find solutions and comfort. So remember, I just said doing happy habits. How do you find comfort and uh, how do you find solutions and comfort? Okay, really tuning into yourself, making yourself happy. Release worries about um, by speaking your truth and expressing emotions regularly. So if you're pent, if you have pent up energy, it's definitely time for you to let this go. Finding that outlet to redirect that energy towards. Open up, open up for the best is yet to come. So if you're seeing that number. 0606 that is your meaning for you we have uh explore your options coming up so i'm not sure how that's showing up for you explore your options and for some of you this may be in relationships as well or maybe in friendships maybe in job opportunities business opportunities but explore your options there's so much out there uh, there's so much that's available to you you don't have to be stuck on one thing whatever that is and pay attention to your dreams is what spirit is saying okay so there if you're finding yourself having recurring dreams that are coming up for you they are definitely messages for you some of you may have something going on in your solar plexus or your sacral but something going on in your stomach you might have a gut feeling about something i don't know how that's going to show up for you but i'm also hearing to protect your energy as well you need to shield yourself okay from i don't know someone or just the world in general that's there's a lot going on here so pay attention to your dreams because you are definitely getting the signs take it take time to breathe out that is very very important for you um here aquarius and this is why spirit is reminding you to rest because that is important during this time frame and know that luck is on your side here new moon in sagittarius which is going to be taking place um, on november 30th at 10 21 p.m pacific standard time so luck is on your side so there's going to be shifts remember as i said earlier shifts that are happening so those of you that have been feeling down and out okay there is going to be a shift coming from you i'm going to say from now until november so there's there's some things happening for you okay keep and read it keep in mind that this reading is timeless as well so this can happen at any point for you okay so you don't have to be so fixated on the time and I know that we're human we always want to focus on time but just allow yourself to be in the flow here um, Aquarius okay let's get your messages uh, your tarot cards out for you spirit of the most high we ask for the most highest messages know that we seek the truth on behalf of the collective even if the truth is outside of their current paradigm we ask that you give us messages of clarity peace love and light to help Aquarius on their continued journey all right, messages for Aquarius. I've already cut this deck. The Spirit is asking me to cut this deck one more time. Okay, cleanse that. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups coming out reversed. The Queen of Wands. The Page of Swords, the Knight of Cups reversed, the World reversed, the Seven of Wands reversed, and we have the Death card. All right, so see we have we have two major arcanas the world and the death card here okay so let's let's get into let's get into that energy there with the world card so that world coming up um, in reverse some of you may have been experiencing some delays or you are feeling delayed you're feeling low in energy um, you feel like things haven't been unfolding for you in your career or in love doesn't matter but it definitely feels like some of you may have been in this phase of feeling 
frustrated, that energy could be coming up for you as well. Um, but I, I, I'm definitely feeling some sort of change, okay? And some of you are feeling an internal change as well. Um, on a deep spiritual level, you know that things just look different. They feel different. Some of you are even acting different. Like things are just kind of all over the place. And I feel like you're trying to make sense of what is, is, is happening, okay? Um, and, and you may even be skeptical about some things in your life as well. Like, why is it? I don't understand that. that I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical about that. So especially when it comes to spirituality, when we talk about some of you may even be skeptics about tarot, um, skeptics about, you know, new age things like crystals and, you know, just getting into the esoteric divination, all of that stuff you may, that may be new to you, you know, burning sage, all of that stuff feels different for you. But I do feel an explorative um, energy that's coming from you that you're curious about it. You're skeptical, but you're also curious um, as to how it can help you because some of you have been in a position where you're like, I will do anything to get out of this space. <laughs> okay, to, I will do anything to feel happy, to feel peaceful, to overcome whatever the, these fears that keep coming up. Um, so I definitely feel like there is a change that is definitely on the horizon for you. Um, and some of you have may have even been in a place of refusing to move forward because you feel like some of you have been in denial, like nothing's wrong. Okay, you've been convincing yourself that nothing is wrong. Um, so keep that in mind as well. So the death card here is definitely pointing to the transitions that some of you are going through. Some of you are transforming on a very visceral level, okay? And it feels uncomfortable for you. Some of you are challenged. Some of you are doing your shadow work right now and it feels very uncomfortable. Some of you are letting go of people. You're letting go of things, things that were a priority for you before no longer serve a purpose in your life. People that you love being around, you don't anymore. Like it just feels like there's a lot of change that is happening um, for you here. And for some of you, it feels painful because you don't want to go through this phase of letting things and people go that meant so much to you. It feels like it's almost like a rebirth that you're going through. It's definitely an end of a phase, but it's also a start to a new phase, which is also a beautiful transformation. But some of you are in this phase of having this revelation that knowing things are different and they're not going to go back to how they used to be because you're not who you used to be. That's what this feels like, okay? Um, but again, keep in mind, keep your, keep your heart set on that although it's an ending, it is a new beginning, right? I feel like there is some sort of fresh start that's coming through. Uh, again, your dreams are probably conveying messages to you that you may not understand. Some of you may need to get with a dream interpreter. But definitely your commitments have been tested. They're going to continue to be tested because this is sort of, this is like the beginning for some of you. This is the beginning of a, an awakening phase for some of you. And I can't tell you how long that's going to last for you. But I can tell you that you should embrace the transformations because they are the inevitable. You cannot stop them. You can prolong them by not being in the flow of the transformation, which makes it so, so much harder, Aquarius. So you definitely don't want to go there, okay? Your overall energy is the Eight of Cups. So this is, um, some of you have already walked away from something in your life or someone or even multiple people. This could even be emotions that you've left behind that you just no longer feel the same way before, um, you feel the same way, but... Some of you are coming up on this energy of letting go of other things, okay? Letting go of some of your material pleasures, letting go of people, as I've said. Some of you are going to be wandering around and some of you are wandering spiritually because you're unclear about what next, what is my next step, okay? You may be even in the phase of regretting things and I feel like this is part of your transformation that you're going through, right? Because we start with the Eight of Cups, we end with the Death card here. So this is definitely transitioning from something that definitely is not um, serving your a purpose any, any longer. But I definitely feel with the Eight of Cups, I'm feeling like a confusion coming from this, okay? Some of you could be feeling a sense of instability. Um, and some of you are completely fine. But I definitely feel like with this number eight, I feel um, you're trying to find balance in some sort of way. Things have been feeling uncomfortable for you, okay? 
we have in the obstacle challenge position, we have the queen of uh, wands that's coming up, coming up for you. And I want to feel into this because initially when I pulled this card, I was feeling like this queen of wands is the energy that you're embodying. Like you are finally getting a little bit more energy um, coming up for you where you may be, you're in this place of trying to feel positive and optimistic about life. And, and moving forward and feeling a little bit more confident in yourself and getting out, you know, getting outside and not, you know, isolating yourself in the house and being closed in. And maybe you're even in this place of thinking clearer, feeling freer in your spirit here as well. Um, I'm going to pull clarifiers around. Actually, let me go ahead and pull. No, I'll, yeah, let me pull some clarifiers around this Queen of Wands here, okay? Because I, I definitely feel like there's a back and forth energy where maybe you feel you maybe one day one moment you're feeling on top of the world the next moment you are confused and not sure are you feeling pessimistic you're feeling low energy um temperance here we have sagittarius energy queen of swords definitely your energy so now we have the queen of wands and the queen of swords i definitely feel like you're definitely trying to move forward move on from something that um struck a chord that's what i hear with the temperance something that struck a card chord on your heart okay that i feel like it lets you in a place of feeling a little dark okay isolated dark maybe it upset you it frustrated you whatever this was or that you had to defend yourself but i'm feeling strongly with the temperance like it was a, a feeling of regret that you may have felt in some situation here aquarius and so i feel like this energy is you know sort of haunting you in a way because you really have to work through what it is that you've been feeling uncomfortable about you're trying to get clear uh, on on something okay so for some of you like i said it's going to go back and forth where it may feel challenging to sort of work through these emotions with in regards to whatever this may have been for you that you have walked away from with the eight of cups here letting these things go um, because I feel like whatever it is that you let go has changed you and may may have even changed your life in some sort of way. So I'm hearing to face the fear. So it feels like some of you are facing the fear, fa facing the fear of this, not this, this no longer being in your presence or a person no longer being in your presence, whatever it is, it's still like a residual energy that some of you are dealing with, um, during this month and you know that's okay it's part of your transition to really dive into the energies of you know developing the new tools to be able to get through right to communicate effectively to overcome things i'm even here and forgive from this temperance energy like you're needing to forgive yourself you're needing to forgive the situation that happened that transpired it was a learning lesson and obviously that was meant to be whatever that was. So some of you are maybe facing that challenge during this time of, of really um, having to deal with the emotions behind that. I'm going to clarify that overall energy too since I'm here. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here? We have the judgment. Um, very interesting because I wanted to say with that temperance, you know, the judgment card is connected to forgiveness and it came out with the temperance, the energy that I was feeling. Um, and, this, and this is what this is here, that judgment card, that forgiveness. And it, um, not funny enough, but since we have the eight of cups here in reverse, that, that also is an energy of, you know, defending. And the seven of, of wands is saying the same thing. Like, you guys are in this place of defending yourself. But I, I definitely feel that comes with you forgiving yourself as well. Okay? Why do you, what are you defending? Okay? What are you convincing yourself of here with the seven of wands? Because I feel like it's, it has been a whirlwind of energy. Things have come up from the past. Um, things have been said, things have been done, and it's like you have to make a decision on how you want to move forward in something. And this is why I feel like some of you are feeling challenged by letting go of whatever this is that you feel like or you have lost or you feel like you are losing. Okay, so it's almost like coming to grips with this is what it is and that's how it's going to be. Okay, so there's a um, there's some, you know, although I feel like you, 
you know, some of you are in this place of really trying to be positive and try to be on the up and up. Some of you are still dealing with some lingering issues, some lingering emotions that are happening here. And that definitely that Eight of Cups is saying there's some emotions that around possibly your relationships or your materials, that um, material pleasures that, you know, you are still grappling about okay we have the page of short swords showing up in uh, your um where you're headed position here so your energy here could also be um definitely your energy could also be pisces as well okay so um this is <clears throat> excuse me this is definitely i'm feeling like your energy of you being curious about something okay i'm going to pull some clarifiers on that because Sometimes the page of swords stumps me, okay? And I'm like, why are you here? Because I know it is like, um, it could be an immature energy here. Where? Why is the page of swords here? We have the page of cups, okay? Now a, a, like another emotionally immature energy coming out for you. Don't tell me it's the page of pentacles. you got to be kidding me. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so now we're just missing the page of wands. Okay, so we have three pages here. So it definitely feels like um, a very youthful energy here. Um, um, an energy of lack of experience. Okay, but this doesn't mean that you can't learn. This, why, this is why I feel like the transitions are so hard for some of you because there's this energy of some of you are skeptical. Some of you are curious. Some of you are stuck in your ways and you don't want to change okay you don't want to try new things but i feel like some of you are forced to do that very interesting that we have all the pages here I and mean, i just want to tap into this energy a little bit more so give me a second here um, i'm feeling like this this battle this up and down energy of really trying to balance all of your things money you know your finances your home, your thoughts, your emotions behind things. There's a lot that is going on here. Sorry for the noise, guys. Neighbors. Huh. I'm hearing some of you are, well, there's a lot that's on your mind. That's for sure here, Aquarius. But I'm feeling like some of you are needing to tap in beyond, beyond the mind chatter that you need to allow your guides to flow through you, okay? Sorry, this is getting really loud, okay? <laughs> it's Saturday, y'all. <laughs> Let me close this. I should have closed my windows anyway. So, um, so yeah, this I'm, I'm definitely feeling, you know, the transition. There could be a little bit of hesitation or reluctance to, you know, transition into, like, the king and queen energy. But I definitely feel like you are a step closer to that, okay? So... I feel like you're in this phase of learning and understanding what you're feeling, what you're going through, and you're allowing yourself to transition into um, what is right at your core, even if it feels uncomfortable. I do am feeling a very strong sense that some of you are in the position of really trusting the process right now because you don't really know what's happening, what you're doing how you're going to feel, how it's going to, you know, unfold, you're just, uh, you're trusting. And that's not going to resonate with everyone here, but I definitely feel like there's a lot of communication that's going on between you and people, the way that you're communicating, um, you and you connecting to your divine and connecting to your infinite self. Like there's a lot of communication that's going on. And for some of you, it may feel overwhelming, but I also feel like you're inspired by it as well. Okay. So there, there is some inspiration that is coming up for you, and, and this is probably why Spirit is saying explore your options, okay? Exploring your options. Um, all right, so what's, what's coming towards you here, Aquarius, is the Knight of Cups coming out reversed. Okay, so Scorpio energy here and Libra, okay? Scorpio, Libra energy here, even uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, so... Some of you are, you know, may have um, have a moment, I feel like, have a moment where you're feeling out of touch from yourself, feeling out of touch from people around you, things that are around you, because this, when you're doing conscious work, you're not so much focused on the material things, okay? 
And, and I feel like some of you may be going back and forth with the things that you like nice things here, Aquarius. But those nice things are not as important to you anymore, okay? And so I feel like there's that energy of like some of these things don't even matter to you anymore, okay? So you might find yourself um, in a phase of feeling moody or emotional or feeling like you are creatively blocked or you're feeling discouraged about life or maybe you're just feeling lethargic because there's a lot of healing that is taking place during this time as you're transitioning. So, you know, you could, again, feel it, feeling out of touch and unrealistic about things um, with this Knight of Cups here in reverse. Let's clarify this here. We have the Queen of Pentacles coming out. And we have the we have the Knight of the Nine of Swords. Okay, so definitely your energy. I'm even feeling too, some of you may even be feeling disconnected from a mother energy. And um, you know, someone who you, you know, consider your nurturer or someone that you can go to um, for advice, for love, whatever. But someone that you look up to, I, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, someone who's very extremely down to earth, that's loving, nurturing, caring, very domestic. And I, I just feel like they know you, like they're, they know when you're sad, they know when you're mad, they know when you're happy. And I feel like there's some sort of disconnect that is happening here with the, with the Knight of Cups and this Queen of Pentacles um, energy. Okay, so... There's, again, like I said, you're feeling out of sorts, you know, you're feeling moody, emotional, and I don't know what this disconnect is for you and someone, okay? But whatever it is, it may give you nightmares. It may even give you anxiety, keep you up at night where you have insomnia or you're, you know, just sort of waking up out of your sleep with anxiety, like, what happened? <laughs> Like, what's going on? Like, what happened? I definitely feels like feel like it has something to do with someone that is, you know, is or was close to you that you're just trying to figure out, like, you know, what happened. And um, I, I do feel like the Queen of Pentacles, like, I feel like you you saw them in a light and then there's just this, there's this big contrast from this happy, confident energy to, like, dark, sad, gloomy sort of energy. So I feel like your emotions are going to be up and down during this month. So that energy is coming towards you. What's happening in your near future here is the world that is showing up for you reverse. All right. So um, we talk about you may feel like there is things are slow to change in some sort of way that you may not be fulfilled in some of your current relationships. You may not even be fulfilled in your, in your current job. Whatever this is, it feels like things slow down and it sort of brings on a level of frustration that you um, may be feeling, okay? Um, and, and I feel like some of you may be a bit hesitant to move forward in some sort of way, okay? So Jupiter energy here. Let's see what's coming up here. And Jupiter, um, no, I don't want to say that because I don't want to missay anything. So I don't want to give you false information. So we have the magician, okay? So it feels like whatever, I'm getting this very, um, elusive energy from this magician in this world here to major arcanas i'm getting like you may be creating things which is why that could be you know keeping you up and giving you nightmares which is why spirit is saying pay attention to your dreams i do feel like there is like some of you may even be having lucid dreams where you feel like you're actually in in the situation you're actually journeying you actually are feeling all of the energies like everything that you're seeing and feeling it feels real in that moment okay and i feel like some of you could be making up like it feels like a back and forth like you could be making things up like in like delusional sort of energy or you're you're unable to make sense of really what's being done in your dreams. I'm also feeling that some of you are actually healing during your dreams. So really take it upon yourself here, Aquarius, to before you go to bed, say your prayers, obviously, if that's something that you're into. And just ask for clarity, ask for guidance, and ask for healing, okay, in a situation that makes you feel uncomfortable. And I, I promise you, your guides and angels are definitely going to um, be happy to assist you with whatever this healing phase is. And just make sure that you're not 
in your in your physical world you're not making things up okay so it feels like there is a contrast between your dreams and what you're convincing of people to believe like it feels like you know the truth about something deep down inside but you may not be sharing that or you may be saying the opposite because you may want to look a certain way okay so there is that up and down energy and it feels like if you allow yourself to stay in that energy things are going to take it's going to take longer for your healing process okay so this lets me know that you need to be true to yourself this is why that number this uh 0606 it's about truth and growth here so that is very important to keep in mind as you're navigating these emotions that are coming up for you your advice is the seven of wands and we pulled the seven of wands upright here in the overall position here um, underneath that eight of cups in this position so that defensive energy of going back and forth in you know whatever this is whatever's going on for you but the seven of, of, of wands is saying not to get in a position where you're overly defensive or sensitive. You have to reel your emotions back in. Okay, some of you are quick to respond and you're not really even understanding how you're feeling or why you're triggered behind something. Okay, so this, you know, this, it could put you at a disadvantage. It could slow down your healing process if you're overly defensive, over, overly sensitive, or you're trying to fight you're trying to be combative or you're trying to run away from situations so make sure that you're not doing that make sure you take as spirit said here take time to breathe out take time to breathe out that is going to be important for you um, to navigate these emotions why is the seven of wands reversed here okay so we have the five of pentacles and then we have the ace of swords okay your energy here as well um virgo taurus capricorn so i definitely feel like you um have been left out in the cold or you left someone out in the cold and it almost feels like this ace of swords there's some sort of breakthrough or communication that is coming in for you whether you're hearing something or there's some sort of communication between you and someone whatever these will whatever these emotions are behind it almost like i feel like it gives you a little bit of clarity okay of you so that you can move on from whatever this hurt this disappointment that you've been feeling okay so definitely feels like a transition that feels uncomfortable but i i definitely feel like make sure that you're not in a place where you're even being combative with yourself like give yourself some grace here Aquarius okay with with the emotions that you're feeling okay but there is some news coming in and the ace of swords definitely points to good news so maybe this news is something that really relieves you of what you've been you know it validates you or it gives you some sort of confirmation or it just helps you move past the past whatever it is that you have let go of or need to let go of okay so being open to that because there definitely is um there feels like there's not there isn't going to be a going back okay that's what it feels like it's like you're moving on like what was done was done is done okay and then the death card okay is your final outcome definitely the transition that we've been talking about here all right you're moving you're moving on you're letting go uh, and you're moving into your light again offer yourself some grace here okay some of you may have felt like you have failed okay failed at whatever not sure what that is but it is time for you to move on from it okay something has been you know painful for you but this is an opportunity for you to feel liberated and feel like you're in a place of rebirthing something and coming out of that pain 100 percent wow we have wow the death card the hierophant the lovers okay so for some of you this looks pretty intense some of you could be moving transitioning into something you know 
this could this is definitely around a, a relationship or a soulmate connection that you had with someone and there is some sort of tra- 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 um I don't want to I'm saying tradition um a tradition I don't know a tradition that you had I don't know I feel like something is broken <laughs> I don't know it feels like I'm confused it's like I feel like you want to, you like you want a new start with someone here, the Hierophant energy, and that's like there's a coming together between you and someone. If you look at look the Hierophant and the Lovers card together, two people here, two people here. You want to create a new foundation, um, and maybe this is some of you understanding that you have let go of these things, and now it's time to create something new and get your happy back, for sure. That's what I'm feeling. So it definitely feels like some of you are walking into something new, something different, something positive, something where you are coming together with, um, I don't know, your tribe, people, your thoughts are coming together, your decisions about walking away from things are now making sense to you you're bringing light into the situation there's a lot that you know we can take from this energy here um i'm getting 11 11 as well some of you are seeing 11 11 so this is you walking into a, a new portal as well okay so it definitely feels like although there has been endings already transpiring it feels like you're walking into something new okay and that's for sure going to look different for everyone here. I don't know how that's going to show up. If you know what this is for you, be happy. share it in the comment section below. We, I'd love to know what this looks like for you. But this is a, a very, very big change that is happening in your life. Okay, big choices that you have to make coming together, uh, separating from, from things and people like just letting go and moving on. I'm going to pull one more. Wow four major arcanas look at that aquarius so life is changing so i do feel like you are walking away from some of the things and letting all of that go emotions feelings relationships and life is changing things are going to be shifting for you in a really really beautiful way okay i'm here in spirit say just wait so that means that be patient and things are going to be unfolding in a really perfect way okay it's in your right timing so don't force any time okay remember we also pulled luck is on your side okay so this is very beautiful energy that is that you're going to be in from now up until remember time is fluid but for the purposes of, of this reading from now up until november 30th so by the end of the year there's going to be a grit a really big shift that is happening in your life and i feel like it's going to be bringing everything together for you okay Aquarius so that is your reading thank you all so much for tuning in like this video if it resonates with you leave us a comment below subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I drop more readings for you share this with your family and friends bless you during this time here Aquarius I'm grateful to read for you so thank you for tuning in um, and I uh, enjoy the rest of the month okay many blessings to you on this new journey and I'll see you guys soon peace